from Guaranteed Rate Field in Chicago. It's the White Sox hosting the Houston Astros. Game one of a three-game series. Jonathan Cannon will get the ball once again, the youngster for the Chicago White Sox. He has been so good after being recalled from AAA last month. Swing and a miss, strike three on a sweeper. Good pitch, that sweeper from Jonathan Cannon, his first strikeout of the ball game. Here's Alex Bregman had his 16-game hitting streak snapped on Sunday. This one on the ground, past the diving Lenin Sosa. And into left field. So Alex Bregman, after his 16-game hitting streak with snaps, starts a new one here. He's now hit in 17 of his last 18. Ground ball up the middle, ranging to his right is Mendon. And he makes the play. Good start for Jonathan Cannon on the mound. White Sox bats coming up. Framber Valdez is going to get the first start of this series. It'll be his 12th on the season. The ERA just under 4, 3.99. And what he has done here in this month of June has been incredible. And he has five hits in his last nine at bats. There's a bloop to right field. Make that six hits in his last ten at bats. When you're going well, you get hits like that. I was just thinking the same thing. <laughs> Robert has been hitting a bunch of home runs lately. Called third strike, 97 right there on the inside corner for out number two. Robert picks up his first strikeout. A little velocity. Yeah, that was pretty filthy right there. Robert picks up a strikeout of DeYoung here, and that'll be back-to-back -back strikeouts to end the inning. Scoreless after one. Jonathan Cannon will face... John Singleton swing and a missed strike three on a changeup. That was a nice one. Second strikeout for Cannon. Yeah, back to back nasty changeups at Singleton completely full. And Caratini hits a two hopper to Mendick who plays that high bounce. And a one, two, three second inning. Jonathan Cannon is locked in. Now it's a left handed hitting Andrew Benintendi. Good pitch. 0 oh, 2 fastball, not a fastball, but an 0 oh, 2 strike at the top of the zone on the slider, I think it was. Yeah, rarely used slider. Just came back enough to clip the top part of the zone. And Jokes drives this one to center. Myers started back, now ambles to his left, makes the catch, and it's a 1 2 3 inning for Framber Valdez. Ninth place hitter, right fielder Trey Cabbage now. Left handed batter with lots of power. Cabbage hits the ball fair down the right field line. He's going to take the turn and head to second base. Tommy Pham's throw will not be in time. Trey Cabbage with a stand-up double with one out in the third. Now the Astros have their first runner in scoring position. We know who's batting. Jose Altuve. And he takes a call. Strike three, a sinker. Top of the zone. Altuve saying, hey, man, I'm 5'6". It was too high. Astros don't like it out of the dugout. You're hearing a few guys chirp at Derek Thomas. So here's Pena now. And a pop-up on the infield. Over near first, it's Vaughn, and he makes a catch. We head to the bottom of the third. So far, not much offense for either side. Corey Lee will draw a walk to start off this bottom of the third. Here's Danny Mendick, 30-year-old second baseman. First pitch is a little inside, perhaps. That looked pretty good. Yeah, that was right at the top of the zone. Altuve is having a conversation with the second base umpire. That's it. Joe Spot is gone. Well, let him have it. Altuve was saying something. The second base umpire, Brendan Miller, told him to knock it off. And Joe Espada backing up his player. It didn't start with this call. It started with the Altuve call, which was a little bit up and out of the zone. And that's basically how this transitioned into getting the old heave ho. On the bright side, though, he's probably going to sit in air-conditioned comfort. And Swinging a ground ball into left base hit. Lee will stop at second, two on with nobody out. Just the second hit of the game for the Sox. And he held on a check swing, so the bases are loaded. When you load him for one of the hottest hitters in the lineup for the Chicago White Sox here in the month of June. Shadows the bat. Ground ball to short, the flip to second, over the first, and Vaughn will beat it out. And the run comes in to score. White Sox take a 1 0 lead in the third. One of the reasons why this didn't turn into a double play was a high flip. On that shovel toss from Pena, a run scores and it's 1 0. This ball towards the middle, hit the mound, and that helps Jeremy Pena turn a double play. That was a fortunate bounce for the Astros. It hit the mound and Karen right to Pena, and they get through that first, second, and third bases loaded, no out situation with just one run. So far, Jonathan Cannon only given up two hits. He's looked really good in his first three innings. Bregman grounded a single into left field. Bregman pokes this one into center, coming on Robert Jude. Junior, he'll slide and play it off the of bounce. It actually gets by him. Alex Bregman flares one into center and is now two for two tonight. He has two of the Astros' three hits. Now John Singleton will bat. Off the end of the bat, squibber to the left side. Tough play by Sosa on the run, and he gets him by a step. Lenin Sosa flashing the leather, but this is an outstanding effort by Lenin.
This one came to him with a whole lot of spin. It's squibbed off the end of the bat. The off balance throw. He's got a very strong arm. Got him by an eyelash. And another grounder to third. This one a little easier for Sosa as Vaughn makes the adjustment at first. And Cannon gets out of it. You look at the pitch count for Jonathan Cannon. He has done very well. Just 51 pitches. Thrown a lot of strikes tonight. And Trey doubled his first time up. Hardest hit baseball for either side tonight. Hits this ball into center field. Coming on Robert Jr. Still coming. It's going to fall in there for a hit. Trey Cabbage has two of the Astros' four hits tonight, and he's a two out base runner. So here's Jose Altuve. Did not like the strike zone last time he was up there. There goes Cabbage from first to throw down to second, and it's not even close. Corey Lee, let him know. He's got one of the best arms in baseball behind the plate, and you see why. And that's high and away ball four. So back to back walks to start the inning on eight pitches. Has yet to throw a strike here in the fifth. Now it's Danny Mendick's turn. He's singled in the third inning. And he got him. Mendick may have left his own on that full count pitch. Fromber picks up his fifth strikeout, first out of the inning. White Sox have the second lowest walk rate of any offense in baseball. Only the Marlins draw fewer walks. So Valdez is having problems with his command here in this fifth inning. That's three walks in the inning. Josh Miller out to talk to Fromber Valdez with the bases loaded and one out. Big moment in this game. Vaughn batting again with the bases loaded. There's a tapper to the left side. Cut off at third. The force at second over first. Not in time. As Corey Jokes will come in to score and the White Sox take a 2-0 lead in the fifth. Andrew Vaughn with both runs driven in and both the same way. No chance at all for Altuve who normally gets rid of the ball quickly but he had no chance to turn to there and the Sox have a two run late. Hits it hard but gloved and caught at third by Bregman. Well the good news they got one the bad news they felt like they should have had more. Valdez able to limit the damage again it's two nothing Sox after five. Cannon working into the seventh for his second straight start. He's got a two nothing lead. Astros get their first base runner to third base and have two on here with two outs. And the Astros are threatened. Here's Jake Myers. Well, he's due. Jake Myers pounded the ground third. So the second gets the force and will get out of the threat. How about the rookie, Jonathan Cannon? Seven strong. Jonathan Cannon just continues to mow him down. And here he comes out for the ninth, looking for the complete game. Down to the short, backhanded the young, the throw in time. And Cannon is one out away from a complete game. Complete game shutout, which you don't see too often in this day and age of baseball. And the fans, deservedly so, all on their feet. Applauding just a magnificent effort by Jonathan Cannon. That's an excuse That's me base hit down the third base side. And that is going to allow Singleton to reach. And it stayed fair down the third baseline. And now the tying run to the plate in Mauricio Dubon. 105 pitches. Cannon setting new career highs. Towards the middle throw for a base hit. The Astros have the tying runs on board with two outs here in the ninth inning. Back to back base hits and Pedro Grafal has no choice but to come get his rookie right hander the fans not happy with this but he has already exceeded his highest pitch count of his professional career as he goes eight and two thirds. The crowd here on the south side of Chicago loving the effort from Jonathan Cannon and John Brevia on for the 30th time he inherits a couple of runners on and one out to get. First, will step on the bag and that'll do it. Jonathan Cannon with the best start of his career gets his first ever big league win as the White Sox win it two to nothing over the Astros.